Alright, so it's now time to talk some football on the Sports Max Zone. Well, following up on a discussion we had yesterday on the zone about the lack of opportunities for youth football in Jamaica and the Caribbean on a whole. Well, for the second day running, we will be featuring an initiative, this time by Sports Innovators Group, who will be facilitating the hosting of a football camp by Portuguese giants of the sport, SL Benfica. The camp, which will span July 22 to July 26, will take place at the Barbican AstroTurf in Kingston and will welcome both boys and girls from the ages of 8 to 17. Well, with us in studio to share more information about the camp is event officer for the Sports Innovators Group, Jean-Paul Campbell, and brand manager of the main sponsor of the camp, Chevelle Lewis. Good afternoon, lady and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, so I'm excited about these camps because one, it's summertime, Two, I have a lot of time for kids. And three, yesterday on the show we discussed it and our guests were saying that, you know, it's time enough that the kids these days are too connected to their devices. It's yeah. time enough that they put it down and they go out to play. So I'll start with you um, to tell me a bit about the aims of this camp. Yes, well, you know, this, the aim of the camp is mainly to just develop the youth players in Jamaica, yeah. you know, because a lot of the youth players, they don't have that uh, systematic European style of play. You know, a lot of them grow up playing more, you know, urban and, you know, playing around in Jamaica. It's, 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 it's a lot different from playing versus like Benfica, whereas it's a, a whole different European system of play. So we just want to bring that style of play to Jamaica and, you know, give them that experience. Yeah, and when you hear Benfica, I mean, the parents should already been rushing to sign up because Benfica, a big name when it comes to football. And I also like to think Jamaica is football country because you have the reggae boys and the reggae girls as well doing well. So how has the response been since, of course, you know, announcing that you'll be having this camp? Have you gotten the response that you want? Uh, yes, I would like to say that. Uh, we have had a lot of participants sign up for this year. Last year we had a, a bigger following, but this year, you know, it's still growing, and we're we're trying to get our foot in the door. But we we've had a lot of participants, around 60, still aiming to to go to about 80. So, yeah, Cheval is with me, um, main sponsor for this. Why did you see it fit to be associated with this camp? Well, we had a lot of proposals sent to us this year, yeah. but what we found to be special about this one was the story. You okay. know. And that story really encapsulates the success of the club, Benfica. You know, as we all know, as you mentioned before, that Benfica are giants, you know, and they have a knack for producing world-class talent. So we really wanted to give the kids an opportunity to have that exposure and the opportunity to work with these coaches to improve on their skills and, you know, just their general craftsmanship of, as young women and men of the sport. So when we got that proposal, it resonated with me immediately. And it had to be, and it was a no-brainer. Yeah. And personally for me, this is a passion project yeah. because I am a lover of sports and an avid football watcher. I won't tell you just yet which tickle I support. No, I want to know. You have to tell me. <laughs> I will after this question. <laughs> yeah, and a general lover of brand Jamaica. You know, Jamaica has a rich sporting culture. And I definitely wanted Kellogg to be a part of that this year. Yeah, and um, how will the sponsorship come? As in, um, what will the camp benefit from Kellogg's? You know, what are you investing in this? Um, well, we are investing the provision of breakfast each day for, the, for the kids, you know. Because we have a kids cereals category, you know, you might know cereals such as Frosted Flakes my and Fruit Loops, my favorite <laughs> I too. like the kids one. You know, so we, we believe that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so why not start it the Kellogg's way? And we are supported by other big brands, 
of the Wisinka group, such as water, um, St. Mary's, you know, to provide daily snacks for the kids, and Nestle and Bond to provide treats for the kids. So we really wanted to give them a wholesome experience and, you know. So you're camping and you're getting really, really healthy food, Lance? Yeah. yeah. Well, Shabel, you <laughs> promised that you would tell, tell us who you're Oh, team, yeah. Sorry. Is, at, at the end of the question. It depends. Will there be a little judgment? No, no, of no. Of course, no, no. I will judge. Well, I am a big supporter of Manchester City. My oh, father that's would my be team. so We're disappointed. Fine. You're fine. Because he's an Arsenal fan. Yes. That's all right. But that's my team. At Man, least you know Man better. City. Man City. Okay. Well, you're 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 currently in, in winners' row, so <laughs> no 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 one can that's argue so with you. That's so good. Your, I'm sorry your, for your my talk. dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. About the camp itself now, the the Benfica coaches who will be here. Like, how many of them will be here, and what kind of standing do they have in Benfica? I suspect they would probably be have have probably be like recruiters and so on. Right. So it's going to be two Portuguese coaches and, you know, one of them is the head sports director at Benfica mm -hmm. and the other is the head of the academy. Mm -hmm. So they're well versed in recruiting, you know, so they, they're very experienced. Yeah, well, we've had these summer programs before with uh, Portuguese and Spanish, you know, uh, officials coming to the Caribbean and doing this kind of, of academy, almost a, a mini um, mini academy right. for, for, the, for the players. Now, from your experience, you said the age groups are between 8 and 17. Yes. Um, from what you've seen in the past, which, which age group attracts the biggest numbers? Well, Under 10s, over 10s? I would say over 10s, uh, over 10s and under 15. And under That's 15, yeah. Would that be disappointing because mm -hmm. I know from a European perspective, and how serious do they take football, mm -hmm. their academies have a lot of players who are not yet 10 years old, so yeah. seven, eight years old. So yeah. um, is it that the Caribbean is a little bit, bit behind on that and not getting the sort of um, response that they want from players seven, eight years old? Because we know that players like Lionel Messi started um, as six, yeah. seven year olds. What and, about Lamine? Uh, Little yeah. Lamine. And that is part of the reason why they've been able to get where they are because they started earlier. Mm -hmm. So is there any, any injection of interest or from, a, from an organization standpoint to try to attract more under 10s in your program? Uh, yes, yes. We are also trying to attract a lot of the under, uh, underage players. Um, well, our goal is to really to, to, to develop a lot of the under 10 players and, you know, give them the fundamentals that a lot of the players nowadays don't have, you know, especially like players like Lamine, like you mentioned, he, he started playing football since he could walk. He was blessed know? by Messi. Did yeah. you see that picture? No, I saw the picture. <laughs> I thought it was fake at first, but... No, know. it's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of those players, they've been able to develop from such a young age, you know, and or players, they've they haven't really gotten that much of the fundamentals down before they could, you know, become more skillful or, you know, become so developed in football and not only just skills or <clears throat> uh, technique, but more tactical as well. You know, a lot of those players in Europe, Europe and overseas, they, they're well versed in the, ta the tactical side of football. You know, the, the coaches, they try to teach them how to play football and the understanding of football. And that's what a lot of our younger players don't have. Yeah. You know? So um, that's what. Yeah, well, Chevel, you, you've already advertised your interest in sport generally. So this must be a project that you will embrace. It's going to be five days. Um, some of the participants would have been repeat participants. I suspect that they would have probably had previous summers when they when, when they enjoyed this kind of facility. But can you technically say for maybe those who will be going for the first time what they can expect in these, in these camps? Uh, I think they can expect a well-organized camp because Sports Innovators Group, when I met with them, they're very meticulous about how they go about not only recruiting sponsors, but how they execute the camp in general. Uh, I think it's a great initiative. And I think the kids can just expect that their lives as young sportsmen and women will be impacted by the expertise that these coaches have to bring. 
you know, because we really want to develop from a grassroots up that talent of, of players. So I think the earlier we catch them in our efforts to do so, the better we can only be as a country, a football country. Yeah, and, and your group, would they have gotten a sort of a, a template or a, or, a, or a guideline from the Portuguese coaches coming here to sort of present to the participants as to how they should prepare themselves for, for this camp? You're referring to the local coaches? The Portuguese coaches yeah, that are ben coming. Pico. Yeah, mm -hmm. would they have presented to you as the organizer mm -hmm. like a, a, a printout of, yeah. you know, this is what we need to have to make this successful and maybe even get the players prepared for what they're going to experience? Yes, of course. I mean, they provided us with all the materials that they're going to need, yes. like all the, the, you know, agility sticks and what whatnot, you know, the materials and also the guidelines as to how the, the training sessions will be performed. All right, so if I want to sign up for the camp, I know I'm past the age, but just for all viewers <laughs> to sign up for the camp, and of course, what's the cost, most important? It's 47,000 Jamaican. Right, that's 300 US. Yeah. Right, and where do I sign up? Uh, you can sign up at our website, www.sportsinnovators.com. All right, so of course, I want to thank you so much, and you as well, Chevelle. Very, very smart. She knows what to align herself with, and she supports the best team ever. But of course. <laughs> the best team ever. Th oh, that's my boy. team. Okay. Anyways, we, he and I will debate about that yeah. another time. But keep up the good work. I'm, I'm really hoping that you know you get the response that you want for the camp, and you get Thanks, what you hope to achieve out of this as well. Thank you so much. Thank you Definitely. for having us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> no problem. All right, so we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, Lance Whitaker might just be heading across the Kimanis Park to give us a taste of at the track. Stay with us.